So this is the demo looking at um, alkali metals. I've got a tray of water here and all I've put in the water is some um, universal indicator to make it go green because things that are um, neutral are green. And I've got three metals here and we're going to start with um, sodium and here, this, these are the jars of um, sodium, lithium and potassium and you can see that they are stored in oil. The reason they're stored in oil is because they're so reactive that they would react with the oxygen that's in the air so we have to keep them away from any oxygen in the air and we have to store them under oil. So what I'm going to do is just take out um, a lump of sodium, if I can just grab one. See if I can get a nice big lump out. Okay, so I've got my lump of sodium over here and, guys, shh. We can see that it is... Um, that it's not very um, silvery. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And then we can see that the inside of it, that the inside of it is nice and silvery, and whereas the outside is all tarnished. Can we see that? Yeah, that looks nice. Good. So what I'm going to do is just take these two bits of sodium, I'm going to pop them in here, and we're going to watch what happens. So if I'm watching, Watch the colour. So we can hear it fizzing. That's the hydrogen being released. We can see as it's running around, it's making purple trails everywhere. That's because the universal indicator is taking it from the, um, the neutral in the water <coughs> and it's becoming alkali. <coughs> it's quite gassy. <coughs> so, can you find sodium on the periodic table for me, please? <coughs> right. What is above sodium in the periodic table? Uh, lithium. Lithium. Okay, so let's try lithium. Ready? Oh, it is working. We just need to give it a bit of a nudge because it's all covered in oil. Bit of a nudge, come on. Does it catch on fire? This one won't do, but we might be able to get potassium to catch on fire. Come on. Right, here we go. It's starting to bubble ever so slightly, so if required, we might be able to hear it fizzing. very quiet we might be able to hear it fizzing. Now what you can do with this, I don't have one here, is get a test tube, put the test tube over the um, over the, the, the fizzing metal and you might be able to get um, some hydrogen gas being released which we can then test the hydrogen gas and see if it's hydrogen. Sorry? Good splint, what sound will it make if it's hydrogen gas? Pop, pop. Pop, exactly, squeaky pop. So, what is below sodium on the periodic table for me, please? Sodium, uh, potassium. Potassium, oh, excellent. Thank you. Right, I'm just going to get some potassium out. Excellent, nice lump of potassium here. I'm just going to dry this one off a little bit, see if we can't get it to react a bit faster. Okay, are we ready for potassium? Are we ready? Yeah. Wow. It is, isn't it? Uh, no. Do another one. Yeah. 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 There's only two left. Right. Let me just tidy this up, get some of the oil off this. Right, ready for potassium again? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, and that was sodium, lithium, and potassium in water. It's nice, isn't it? 
Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.